Hey, so before we get into today's video, definitely give me a thumbs up if you're feeling the content that I'm putting out on my channel, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, all right? So let's go ahead and get to, to today's video. All right, so as of March 2021, the average sale price of houses in Northeast Florida, and before we even get into the housing prices, let me give a, a full disclaimer. These numbers that I'm providing are starting from the March 2021, and they only apply to single-family homes. I didn't include condominiums or townhomes. These are strictly single-family homes. Also, let's say this. Northeast Florida includes Jacksonville, Orange Park, St. John's County, and some of Nassau County, and some of St. Augustine, okay? Reason I say some of Nassau and some of St. Augustine, they also have their own MLS that doesn't apply to our MLS here in Northeast Florida. Don't ask me why, this is what they have. I don't know. All right, so now that we got the disclaimers out of the way, let's talk about these numbers. Average sale price of a home in Northeast Florida is $363,000. Let me say that again. $363,000 is the average sale price of a home in Northeast Florida, single family home, single family home. That number was astronomically lower last year. Last year, the average sale price of a single family home was $297,000. That is a $66,000 difference from March 2020 to March 2021. Reason being, inventory is super low as we stated before and prices continue to go up. But now let's talk about how many homes were for sale right now, 2021, March of 2021, compared to March of 2020. So as I said, 2,908 houses are on the market for sale as of March 2021. But for March 2020, we had over 7,861 houses on the market for sale. That is a big, big difference. That's a difference of about 4,953 houses. And what, just for numbers sake, we'll just say a cool 5,000 5, houses. That is a dip in inventory of about 63% of houses from March 2020 to March 2021. So now you can see why all the prices are continually rising because the inventory that we have is just not there. It's just not the inventory that we had last year. And we all know the reason due to COVID-19, a lot of businesses shut down, a lot of forbearances started happening and people did not want to move. They did not want to sell their houses because they didn't know what's going to happen in the market. They're losing their jobs and it made for a hard situation for a lot of homeowners. So with the forbearance going on, people decided to keep their houses and not sell. Unless they just absolutely had to sell their houses, they kept their houses. OK, so moving on a little bit further, pending sales for the March 2021, 2,917 and closed was 2,642. So it's a difference of about 300 houses. So I want to stop here for a second. Let's talk about this. So that means that every almost every house that went on the market at 2,924 went pending at 2,917 and closed at 2,642. So that tells me that this is absolutely a seller's market. If you even whiffed of wanting to put your house in the market, it's going to get sold. There is no doubt about that. With this market we have right now, if you were ever considering selling a house and thought about selling a house, this is absolute best time to do it. Moving on a little bit further, um, days on market from 2020 March was 36 days, and now we have 19 days on the market. A big difference of 17 days. So it's a little bit over two weeks that housing have come off the market compared to March 2020 to March of 2021, which is why I keep saying that the housing market is on fire right now if you want to sell your house. Absolutely. If you want to sell your house, this is the absolute best time to do it. Your house is going to sell without a doubt. All right. Also, last but not least, let's talk price per square foot. Price per square foot last year, March 2020, was $135 per square foot. Now it's at $152 per square foot. A difference, another difference of $17. So, as I mentioned before, housing prices are continually rising and inventory is continually falling down. Will it continue to stay this way? I'm going to say no. Okay. And I'll tell you why I say no. Um, so, and this is my prediction and some of the things that I've seen in the market and what's going on with the financial 
um, side of the house, interest rates are starting to creep back up to still historic lows, but they're not as low as they were this last year. Um, you were seeing a lot of buyers getting 2.5, 2.7, and even 2.3% interest rates, and sometimes even lower than that interest rates. But now you're seeing interest rates starting to come back up to 3.5, 3.75, and it's basically climbing back up to still very low numbers, but not as low as they were before. Also, with the forbearance possibly ending sometime in the third quarter of this year, that's going to be a heavy burden on what happens in the market. Because with the forbearance possibly running out, that means more houses are going to have to go through the foreclosure process, short sale process, so the inventory will start climbing back up. So if you are a seller right now, I'm telling you the time is now to sell your house. All right. If you ever thought about selling, but I understand some people don't have a second option of a place to stay because the inventory is so low, so they don't want to sell the houses. But if you really need to sell your house, now is the time. Okay. So that's my quick stats and what's going on in the housing market. It's definitely a seller's market. So I'm going to be a realtor. If you have any further questions about the market, or if you want to just talk what's really going on for buyers, hit me up in the comment section below and I'll talk to you soon.